In this video you will learn how to implement drag and drop inside React. And the main problem with drag and drop, it takes quite a lot of effort to implement it without library. This is why I highly recommend you to pick some library to implement drag and drop and not do it from scratch. But here is the problem. If you just write something like react drag and drop inside search, you will get libraries like react dnd and react beautiful dnd. First of all, let's look on React Beautiful DD. Actually, this library is not bad because it has a nice API and it is extremely easy to implement drag and drop with it. But the main problem is nobody updates it. As you can see here, the changes were like three or four years ago. It is a long time. And if the library is in maintenance, it means nobody will fix something in it and probably new versions of React won't be supported. We don't want that. It doesn't make any sense to pick such library. Another solution which is extremely popular, and actually it is working, this is React DND. But essentially, from my perspective, the documentation is lacking, and the API of the library itself is not really comfortable to work with. Here you can see the usage, at least they migrate it to hooks, because in React Beautiful DND they are still using their render props, which is not up-to-date technology. The library that I really recommend you to look at is here on the bottom and it is DND Kit. And it is a really modern solution which has nice documentation and all stuff that is needed and the API looks logical. So as you can see on the left we have lots of stuff like for example droppable, draggable, different sensors, for example for touch devices and also sortable. And as you can see it is built with hooks which means this is exactly what we want. This is why if you want to implement something with drag and drop inside React, I highly recommend you to look on this library. And the goal of this video is to implement exactly the sortable list that we have here with this library. So here we have our 10 users, we can add new users to this array. And this is how our code looks like. First of all, here we have our state for users and the data are coming from additional file. This is data.js, this is just an array of our users. We we'll also have here an input so we can create our new users and here we are rendering the list of users. The main point is here we want drag and drop to sort our users. Our first step here is to install necessary dependencies. This is why here npm install, dnd kit core, then dnd kit utilities and dnd kit sortable. And actually this sortable stuff we need because we are implementing a list that we want to sort. If you just need to implement drag and drop, then probably you don't need sortable. After installation, let's start implementing our sortable drag and drop. And the first thing that we need to do, we must take the whole list and wrap it with DND context. This is our parent element, which will implement correctly drag n and the whole dragon functionality. So here is DND context, and we must provide inside collision detection. And as you can see, this library also is covered with TypeScript. This is why you are sure what properties we must provide inside. And here we must provide closest center. And as you can see here, we are getting a nice autocomplete that it returns the closest rectangle from the array of rectangles to the center of the given. And another thing that we need here is on drag end. And here we must create a function on drag end. Now we must close this DND context after all our users are rendered. Now here on the top, let's create this on drag end function. So here let's just write on drag end. And here what we are getting is event. And this is a special object from this library. So here I simply want to console log on drag end event and we can check what we have inside. Now here inside our DND context we want to have one more element and this is our sortable context. And this is exactly what we are using from this DND kit sortable to make the whole list sortable. So essentially you will use DND context even if you just implement drag and drop but sortable context only for sorting a list of items. And here we must provide the list of items and this is our array of users. Also here we must define a strategy how we are implementing sorting and in our case it is vertical list sorting strategy. And now here after our users we must close this sortable context. The last thing that we need to do we must use a component of DND for every single element. 
but the main point is that we want to instantiate inside a hook from this DND library. This is why this code won't go, I will cut it out and put two additional component, because we want to create a child component and use a hook inside. So here on the top let's create a component sortable user. And here inside props we will just provide the user that we want to render. And here I want to return our markup that we wrote previously. Now let's jump here on the bottom where we were. And here I want to render our sortable user that we just created. And inside here we must provide the key user ID because we are inside map. And most importantly user because here we want to pass our user and render this information inside. So this is exactly how we are implementing drag and drop. We have here context, then sortable context and our additional component sortable user. Now here inside our sortable user we want to use a hook from DND kit. This is why here we want to destructure use sortable hook and inside we must provide an object with id which is our unique identifier and in our case we can use user id for it. It is important that this element is unique for DND. And here back we are getting lots of stuff that we want to pass as attributes inside our development. This is why here we are getting attributes, then listeners, set node reference, transform and transition. So here inside our div we can set a reference, this is set node reference. So we are giving the reference to our DOM node inside DND kit. After this we are spreading all our attributes that we have on the top and then we are spreading all our listeners. And we don't need here key because we have it outside of this component. And the last thing that we want to do, we want to create styling for this element, which we are getting from the library itself. So here we want to get our style, and this is an object with transform and transition. And transition we simply pack inside this element, but transform we need to calculate. And in order to do this, we are using CSS.transform. And as you can see, this CSS is coming from DND itself. So we must inject it properly. Here I want to write import CSS, and it is coming from our DND kit utilities. As you can see here, I got auto imports for the core. This is closest center and DND context. And here we have our imports for sortable, like context, vertical sorting strategy, and use sortable. Now here we can use CSS dot transform dot to string and we are providing inside our transform function. This is exactly what we got here from DND itself. Our styles are there, so now here we can provide in style attribute styles that we got from DND. Which actually means the goal is that inside our element by using hook we are getting lots of stuff for our DOM node like listeners for drag and drop, all our styling and transitions so it looks nicer. And we are just applying all this to our parent element inside this component. Let's check if it's all working. As you can see we don't have any errors, I'm jumping to the browser and I want to inspect our element. Here we don't have any errors and I will just drag first user and as you can see it is working out of the box and we can sort users. But as you can see it was not sorted because we didn't implement on drag end. But here inside console you can see that we got lots of stuff inside our event. For example what was our activator event, what element is active, this is id1 and what element is over id2. This is exactly what we need, because here we have a reference for every single user and we understand what was the user that we are dragging and this is with what user we are switching. And now we can use this information to change our array. This is why here let's jump inside our function on drag end, here we can remove our console and we can get active and over from our event. And first of all here we want to check if we are not dropping the element on itself. This is why here if active.id equals over.id then we simply return and we don't do anything. After this what we want to do, we want to set our users. This is why here set users, but we are using here a function. We want access to our current users and inside we want to calculate the old index and the new index because we want essentially to swap two indexes. This is why here we will get old index and in order to do that we can use find index. So we want to use find index on our users, we are getting access to every single user and find user id by our active.id which actually means this is our old element that we are dragging. 
Now here let's copy paste that and here we have our new index and this will be over ID and this is where we are dragging this element. And now you for sure think okay but now we have two indexes and we really need to write a lot of JavaScript to switch these two elements. But essentially inside this awesome library we have a nice helper to switch positions of two elements inside an array. And what is more important, this method is immutable, which actually means we are getting a copy of our array and not simply change them inside our array. This is why here we can return array move. And as you can see here, it comes from DND kit sortable. And what we must provide inside is our array of users. Then here we want to pass old index and new index. And it will simply return the completely new user's array. This is exactly what we need. And it will switch the item with old index and the new index. Let's check if it's working. I'm reloading the page here. And I want to put the first user on the second place. And as you can see, it is staying here because our array was updated. And now our user summary is on the second place and we successfully implemented sorting. And actually, if you're interested to know how to build infinite scrolling with real API call inside React, make sure to check this video also.